Welcome to Biology with Deepika and in this video we will be learning about transformation, transduction and conjugation in details. So let's start with um, first type of genetic recombination in bacteria that is bacterial transformation. This, uh, this was first studied by Griffith in 1928 and in this um, in this process, the donor and the recipient cell do not come in contact with each other. The second type of genetic recombination in bacteria is bacterial transduction. This was first discovered by Ginder and Lederberg in 1952. In this process, the genetic material is transferred from donor to recipient bacterium via bacteriophage. Here we see bacteriophage, how is it? It is attached to the bacterial cell and the process will go on like this. The third type of genetic recombination which we will see in detail in the video is bacterial conjugation. This was first discovered by Lederberg and Tatum in 1946 in E. coli. Here in this process there is the direct contact between the donor, this is the donor cell and this is the recipient cell by the formation of a conjugation tube. This is a tube is formed. So let's see in detail the three process of genetic recombination in bacteria. So here is the detail. The true sexual reproduction is absent in bacteria because it doesn't involve karyogamy that is the fusion of the two nuclei and meiosis. The four haploid nuclei daughter cells um, join together to form um, the process of meiosis. But incomplete sets of genetic material can be transferred from one moneron cell to other. Sometimes these processes are referred to as parasexuality. There are three methods of parasexuality in bacteria known. The, they are transformation, transduction and conjugation. So let's see the three processes in details. The first one is transformation. When we come to the word transformation, there we... Uh, and the word come into mind, this might be something transformed into. Yes, there is something transformed into in this process which Griffith studied first in 1928 and we see and we will see this process in detail how he uh, conducted the experiment and concluded something and named the process as transformation. In this process, the donor and the recipient cell do not come in contact with each other. When, when during the post-World War I, pneumonia was spread seriously and during that time, uh, Griffith wanted to study uh, something and um, find the possibility of creating a vaccine. So, he was studying he studied two strains of bacteria, Streptococcus pneumonia, then he called as Diplococcus pneumonia or uh, Pneumococcus pneumonia also. He studied two strains of this uh, bacteria and concluded something. He took one strain as S2, which is virulent or pathogenic or capsulated and form, which formed a smooth colony. This has a polysaccharide coat. Uh, outside. So, this is mm, that's why smooth. The other strain is R2 or rough, a virulent or non virulent also, and non pathogenic. He did experiment with mice and uh, concluded something. When he took virulent strain, the S2 strain, and injected into the mice, here the mice died. When you take a virulent strain, the R2 strain, the rough strain or non-pathogenic strain, the mice leaves. But when he took the heat killed S2 strain, there the mice also leaves. But when he took both, when he took a virulent strain, the R2 strain, which is non-pathogenic, and the heat killed virulent strain, the mice dies here in this form. So, on isolation of bacteria, the virulent where it is found that the virulent strain, the S2 strain were found from dead mice. 
so he coming to conclusion from the transformation experiment that when two strains of streptococcus um, on pneumonia were taken um, some material of s2 strain is transformed to the r2 strain and um, formed it into s3 type according to griffith the transforming principle was the polysaccharide of capsule of heat kill virulent strain i have mentioned here that this smooth uh, type or capsulated type of strain s2 strain has a polysaccharide coat outside so it has a polysaccharide it is the polysaccharide of capsule of heat kill virulent uh, strain which transform this r2 a virulent or non virulent strain into virulent strain and the mice dies in the experiment here we see here the mice dies but the detailed study was carried out by avery mycleod and mike carty according to them dna work as the transforming principle they prove for the first time that dna is the genetic material in organism organisms so this is the pro process of transformation then we will go to the process of transduction this parasexual process was first time studied by jinder and lederberg in 1952 but during transduction a small double stranded piece of dna is transferred from donor to recipient by a bacteriophage here we see the bacterial cell here is the bacteriophage it comes and attach to the bacterial cell and this is the virulent phage this is the defective phage um it get integrated into the bacterial cell here the bacterial um the chromosome of the uh, phage dna will now integrate into the bacterial dna now it has integrated and um, um, now they will continue with the pro normal process of uh, bacterial fission and in this way two bacterium will form but in this transduction process there are two type one is generalized transduction and one is specialized transduction in generalized transduction we see the it is the ability of the bacteriophage to carry with it genetic material from any region of the bacterial dna it is the generalized transduction what we see here in this uh, picture it is generalized transduction here the phase dna comes and attached to the bacterial cell then the um, uh, chromosome dna of the um, phase dna integrates into the bacterial dna and it is formed like this but in specialized type of uh, transduction it is a little different there are bacteriophages such as lambda phages of e coli which can carry only a specific region of the bacterial dna to a recipient this is known as specialized transduction or restricted transduction here we see here here the bacterial host cell this is the prophase dna coming and attached but when it is uh, when it um, forms recombination it a uh, excision process takes place and when during the time of excision it takes a little um, part of the uh, bacterial dna also so um, the uh, host dna this is the host dna this is the recipient dna and this is the prophase dna all three are formed so this is specialized type of transduction sometimes but sometimes the dna brought by the phage doesn't integrate with the genome of the recipient bacterium and expresses itself independently it doesn't replicate and so passes on to only one of the daughter cells during fission this is known as abortive transduction so this is all about the process of transduction then we'll move on to the process of conjugation in this process it is a little different from transformation and transduction in the process of conjugation it involves direct contact between the donor and the recipient cell lederberg and tatum in 1946 discovered conjugation in e coli for the first time but later detailed study was carried out by ulman and jacob in the process of conjugation the bacteria show dimorphism they are sexually different 
the male has the sex pili and the fertility factor known as the f plus cell which is the donor cell but the female don't have the sex pili and the fertility factor and known as the f minus cell this is the f minus cell the donor cell is attached to the recipient cell with the help of sex pili the pili forms a conjugation tube here it forms a conjugation tube then the f plus factor here it will now replicate and the replica will now move to the f minus cell through the conjugation tube and the completion of dna transfer and replication takes place now the both cells are will separate and due to transfer of f plus factor to the f minus factor the f minus cell is now converted into f plus cell and both two f plus cells are formed so this is in brief the three type of genetic recombination in bacteria the transformation transduction and conjugation here in detail so thank you for watching my video and do like share and comment if you like my video and do subscribe for my upcoming videos thank you so much